Hello, uh, we're live at uh, SSW4 on the uh, Saturday the uh, afternoon, and uh, we've got a special guest, Anne Sexton, who performed last night live a very special concert indeed. Uh, how did you enjoy yourself? I enjoyed myself tremendously. It was beautiful. I loved every minute of it, and I loved the people, and it was just amazing. Just amazing. So, uh, if we start at the beginning, uh, you're from South Carolina, and y your first introduction to music was gospel. Yes, my first introduction is quite nice. We all go to church, and that's where a lot of us start from in church. So I'm from Greenville, South Carolina. Yeah. So from from how were you discovered as a singer? Were were, were you were you gospel orientated and then attracted to soul and funk? Well, in a way, I think all of that goes together. You know, when you when you sing gospel, you have that that soul in you. So a lot of time, a lot of gospel singers transfer over to, you know, soul music, and uh, that's what started me out. And um, I just wanted to sing rock and roll, jazz. I wanted to sing it all, which I I love all of it. And uh, I just wanted to get a band together and try to do my own thing because I love to sing. So he, was it John Richburg that? discovered you? Well, he didn't really discover me. Uh, a man named David Lee discovered me. Yeah. And uh, he heard me sing because we had a little band together. I told him I wanted to sing. And he was somewhere that I was performing. And he asked me, did I want to record one of his songs? And that's how Ann Second started out. It was recording one of David Lee's songs. And it's called You're Letting Me Down. And that's what got everybody to know Ann Second in the South. Yeah. So when when you were recording and releasing records, seventy two, seventy three, your, your first releases, and you had a, a recording period for four years, five years. Did, did you understand that your music was coming across the world? Not at the time. It took a long time for me to find that out. But when I did find out, I was you know I was amazed and uh, excited in a way, and that's how I began to come here by finding out things like that and didn't know my songs were being planned in the UK and Germany, all those places. Everybody knew of Ann Sexton. Ann Sexton didn't even know of Ann Sexton <laughs> in Germany and here. So, you know, it all turned out to be pretty good. Yeah. So you, you we, we know that you moved into education. How did that come about? Well, I really love kids. I love working with kids, although, you know, I just had the one. <laughs> so I love kids, and I, I just wanted to start working with them, and I had already went to college, and yeah. I had my credits, so I just went and put in an application and kept worrying them to death until they hired me. And uh, I worked for the Board of Ed for, you know, almost 20 years, I'd say. I love working with kids. Yeah. That's how I got into the education business. But did you, did you, did you miss singing? Oh, did, quite did you naturally. stop singing or did you? Uh, I used to sing every now and then. You know, people wanted me to sing. I would sing at clubs in New York City. One club uh, in particular, the Boston Road Ballroom. Yeah. And uh, I started singing there one time. And from that point on, they wanted me to sing every week. So I, I still kept my voice in shape. Yeah. But I wasn't where I wanted to be. Yeah. You know, Ann Sexton supposed to have been out there doing a lot of gigs and yeah. stuff because that was my dream. But. Yeah, that kept me going. Yeah, and you weren't aware of how popular you were in the UK or in Europe during I, the seventies and the eighties, and from from your first recording. No, I did not. I didn't know anything, but I found out. And when I found out, then that's when I started coming to Germany, and I've been coming, you know, to Germany for the seven years from the time <laughs> that I found that out, and didn't know everybody was liking and sex the music. And I love it, and I still love it. And I'm so proud. Maybe the way things happen, it was supposed to happen like that in order for me to be here. Yeah. So they, they, they did, how did, how were you, were you surprised when uh, the, the Baltic Soul Festival contacted you? I was very surprised. How did they find you? They, they said they'd been looking for me a long time, yeah. I guess for years. And I didn't even know that. you looking for Ann Sexton, Ann Sexton wanted to be found. So Ann Sexton must have did it, did something in order to put my name out there, which I 
had one of the guys on my job to, you know, look at some of my stuff because he had a band. And I wanted to sing with his band, you yeah. know, and because he had a pretty good band, but he didn't act like he cared. So I just put myself out there. So this is, you know, I did songs before that nobody knew it. They said I was very secretive. I don't want nobody to know it. Yeah. So I told him this is what I did, and next time I know he got on the computer and he found Dan looking for me, I, which was good. That's what I wanted because he didn't know that's what I wanted. Once he went into the computer, yeah. I knew something was going to happen because we had been doing that ourselves. Next thing I know, I got a call from Dan, but I didn't believe him when he first called me. And when he told me who he was, I said, I don't know who you are, but don't call me no more. <laughs> and I hung up on him. He tells everybody that every time we have a newcomer or whatever, he tells everybody how I told him, don't ever call me no more. And then he kept calling. Then I finally realized that he was for real. And that's how Ann Sexton began to come back a little bit. And so you, that, that perf first performance, you, you, you really appreciated the, the, the warm crowd responding to your songs that you hadn't really performed for 25, 30 years. 30 years. And uh, I was really surprised. I was, I was in shock because when I got on stage and everybody was just so amazing and warm. And and when I first started singing my first song, everybody started singing it with me. And they was just, I mean, every word, word for word. And I'm, I wanted to, I wanted to just stand there with my mouth open, you know, because I was shocked because I didn't know they knew my stuff like that. Every song that I sang. Somebody was singing it right along with the crowd. So that right there made me feel so good. And I still feel good behind it because I think about it all the time. So yeah, that's why I kept coming back every year for the last seven years. And we've worked out that you've performed in the UK previously five or six years ago at a, a vintage festival. Oh, uh, yes, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Everything about that vintage uh, festival was wonderful. You know, I saw things that I had never seen before, like yeah. people dressing back there in the 40s and the 30s, you know. I know I'm not that old, but <laughs> I love to see clothes like that, you know. So that was beautiful. Yes, I have been in the U.K., but I had never been here before. But yeah. I love my people here because I used to give interviews yeah. and uh, on the phone c coming from, from Germany, you yeah. know. And every time we make a phone call to a DJ here, they would say, eh. We love you. We want to see you. And I would say, I want to see you too. <laughs> and I love you too. So, you know, this is how I feel so good when I come here because I know people love me and I yeah. love you too. So uh, are you planning to do any new recordings? It's in the future. It's yeah. in the future. Yeah, I have a few things I have to work out, but I have a few things working with me and I have a couple of people that wants me to do something on their album. So, you know, I'm talking to people now yeah. because I feel like, I'm not that old. Oh, I see I got a whole lot of life in me, and I want to still do some stuff with some of the younger, yeah. you know, uh, artists out there. Now, I still want to do some things, but it seems like they I don't know if, why they won't ask me, but I have a, a couple of offers that someone want me to do a couple of things on the album with them, and I'm thinking about it. So we're going to get together, and we're going to see what happens. Yeah. So if, uh, obviously, we're, we're winding time because you've got to fly back to – USA? Yes, but uh, we're not going back to the U.S. So we got another gig. We're going, to, we're going to Hamburg. We got okay. A, we got a gig there uh, next week. And yeah. From that point on, we'll leave out the third of uh, next month. So we got one more gig to do and uh, around this area before we go. And uh, it's just amazing. It really is. It's amazing. I'd just like to say on behalf of SSW4 that uh, you gave a, a a fantastic performance last night and uh, thank you very much oh you are so welcome i feel like that last night was just it was amazing it was wonderful i enjoyed myself and i want to come back again so i can enjoy myself again everybody was just beautiful and i thank you very much i really do thank you